Life at sea is a journey filled with challenges. For women seafarers, safety, both physical and emotional, is a daily reality. This is not a journey they can take alone, because safety at sea, it takes all of us. I was trying to hide my gender and not be feminine because I was working mostly with men in that sailing boat and uh, I saw mostly of the time even the captain was speaking a lot about relation, sexual relation, about woman, look to that, look to that when he was seeing woman on the others on the boats and also when it was, ab- was about near us they were like crazy, guys, guys, come out, look a lot of women, a boat only with women they were so obsessed and I was looking to them and hearing their commentary, these men, they are not having any kind of relation and they can sometimes even be aggressive, you never know. We have quite a lot of stories about personal safety and work from the past 24 years. Everything from being on a crew boat, having the pilot ask if I had naked pictures, to engineers coming in my cabin when I'm showering. Crew coming in my cabin to kiss me goodnight when sleeping, being bought a sex toy and asked if I'm using it. I also still have a few diaries I kept when I was at sea as a cadet. One of the entries I have written is about a second mate wanted me to announce clocks as he says the crew will listen more because I am a I told him the crew would not be thinking about blocks when they hear my voice, but who wants to fuck me first? So I went upstairs, I'm doing the late night shift, and obviously I'm like serving drinks, and you know, there's two couples, whatever, they're in the jacuzzi, there's music, there's drinks, normal. All of a sudden I come back up, they're naked, and then they're kissing, and they gave me a camera and they say, you know, to take photos. So I literally put the camera down didn't take any photos and again we go back to me sharing this with crew members and it's like a joke but that is harassment i'm not there to see you naked i'm not there to take photos of your sexual pleasure things that you have you know kinky things i think it's very prevalent in the yachting industry but we don't consider it probably harassment because it's either not physical or vocal I wanted to share my positive experience. I have been very fortunate to go and see with great men who taught me the history of our industry and our union. They still teach me new skills, how to work safely, and they share the stories of the old days at sea. Most importantly, they have taught me the true meaning of camaraderie. I owe my career to my mentors, and I feel very privileged to sail with them. I would like the male colleagues to understand that we are capable of doing job on board and all we want is to be accepted by the people around us. By this, we will be able to prove ourselves and feel safer. You will probably be surprised to hear this, but I think that uh, female seafarers and male seafarers have very much in common when it comes to the problems they experience on board. There is stereotypical thinking about men that they are hard, they are tough, they are indestructible. But in reality, what I've seen over the years working on the helpline is that both genders are very vulnerable at sea. Every seafarer deserves to feel safe on board because a safe environment fosters trust, unity, and a sense of belonging. Allyship is key to creating a safe and inclusive space for all seafarers. It's about actively supporting and advocating for each other. To be true ally, we must move beyond words and take meaningful actions to promote safety and inclusivity. Seafarer safety is about more than protocols. It's about creating an environment where every voice is heard and every person is valued. Through support, understanding, and action, we create a safer, more inclusive world for our seafarers.